Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about something called data governance. Now, I am not a professor of data governance, but I just have some real world experience of trying to manage a Tableau online site with 100 users or more. And here's the thing. If you've ever worked at a corporate company or any company with computers and you're just starting new and the company's been around for like 10 years and they say, listen, you've got access to the share drive or to the our, our, um, network drive, all the data you need is in there. And when you go in there, every, it's just a mess, right? You'll have a folder with subfolders and folders called new folder or copy of new folder. It's just, there's no order, right? So it's hard to find things. Now, if you are working with, I don't know, something low risk, um, let's say, I don't know, you're managing just like a basic Excel file. You're not really doing much. Well, then maybe it's not so much of a big deal. But what if you're someone who gets audited? What if you're someone who works with the government? What if you're someone where what you do actually could prove fatal for other people? Then you need to be good with your data. And in this day and age, in the modern era, if you are not good with your data, someone else is, and you or your company is going to struggle in the long term because eventually you will just be taken over. You need to have the data management skill. And surprisingly, when I first started, I thought data governance was way harder than it actually was, but you just got to keep it simple. And the whole idea of data governance is making sure you're not publishing things online that have no more use, that have no more um, purpose, that are just sitting there, that don't serve anybody. You're not publishing things online that is bad data or uncertified data. You know who built it, when it was built, when the data was refreshed, what it's for. So those kinds of simple questions can be solved actually pretty easily. And Tableau answers about half of those automatically. Okay, so when you go to Tableau Online, actually, let's bring that up first, right? So if I go Tableau Online, so I've already got one here, and I click on Data Details, right? So here on the right, once it loads, okay, here on the right, it'll already tell me quite a number of things. So we say when it's modified, who did it, like these two are already massive, right? And it's one less thing you have to worry about. In shared drives, you have to mark the file with the name of who built it, when the order by. I know you can go right click properties and stuff, but it's not a surefire way. Tableau Online takes care of this. So let's say it's December 28. And I say, how old is this data? I know it's one day, right? This data is saying something really weird and the budgets are crazy. We need to talk to some about this. Who put it together? Well, let's go see Jed, okay? Or they go, listen, this, this data set doesn't look right something feels off what data set are they using well it's here as well okay so it's that traceability it's seeing who did what when and how valid is the data how accurate is the data and being able to answer those questions if i go down a little bit what else is here fields in use so nothing much more in there if i go back one right in addition to those you also have this which is if you select this i right this little information button again you'll see more details right the tags tabs used etc the size update budget right and that's great that's all in there as well you can see when it was last refreshed when it was last modified the difference between modified and refreshed is modified i believe is the last time you changed the dashboard design itself refreshed is when the last time you change the raw data set that feeds the dashboard and owner well that's me okay so then if you go back again you've got another level so this now this information now applies to the folder itself used to analyze budget plans for 2020 so this is the thing what i mean about keeping it simple it doesn't need to be super grand okay so if i full screen this again it can be as simple as doing this for every time you publish just say okay who's the lead all right jed that means if there's any technical issues we have to speak to this person Right? And if this person is not available, who is this? Let's talk to the support designer. All right? So it's Michael Jordan here. Okay? And why did they build this? Well, it's for the management of stock levels to determine best pricing structure for 2020. That's it. That's it. That is a fantastic start. Obviously, the more you write, the better. Okay? Then when it comes to actually managing the site, I've got this little diagram. Let's see if I can kind of center it. 
no, one more. Okay, so for now, ignore this delete stuff. Okay, pretend that's not there. All right, let's just ignore this. All right, these projects here, these are your dashboards. Okay, and this are your main folders. Okay, so when I log into Tableau the first time, I'm going to see one folder called whatever division is. Let's say it's finance. Okay, and when I open that folder, I'm going to have three more folders. And let's say the first folder is you can do it a number of ways. You can do it by project. Like, let's say I go, this is for the NBA, right? NBA, this is for football. Oops, I zoomed in. That's for football, right? F-F-O-T. And the last one could be for baseball, right? So you can do it like that. You can also do it by 2019, 2020, 2021. You can do it by year. It's up. It's up to you as long as there's some sort of order. Then within those, you have your projects, right? And they should be named clearly. Don't, I remember once I was training someone and I go, can you publish this dashboard? And they called the dashboard data. I'm like, the whole thing is data. <laughs> like you need to actually say what it is. And one tip someone gave me um, was don't call it exactly, don't call it what it is, call, call it what it's for. So let's say if you're doing MBA salaries, right? So you can say analyzing um, highest threshold, uh, analyzing maximum budget for MBA players for 2019. Like that's, that's a very descriptive title to say this is why we're doing this analysis, okay? So that's one little tip. Now, what do these deletes mean? Okay, so getting back to our topic of folders, when you first join a company, you're going to open a folder with fold, uh, you're going to, let me start again. You're going to get into Tableau and you're going to see this as a first folder. It's going to say division, finance. And then for some weird reason, people are publishing dashboards randomly at the same level, right? You just got random files in here, right? Random files for no reason. It's like just put them in the correct place that they're supposed to go to, right? And then you're like, okay, that's weird. I'm just going to ignore that file for the moment. All right, let's go in. So I go into this division. I go into the finance folder, and I find more files just sitting there, not named. I don't know who. I don't know who made them. Well, it'll say who made them, but it won't say what it's for, why it was done. Nothing. So it's like it's just sitting there, okay. And you go further still, and then you find this. Now that I found the best way to manage this, is if it's not placed in the correct folder, and I come across it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's for the president of the company. I don't care if it's for, I don't care who it's for. I'm deleting it. So you set a policy from day one. You set a standard of you must put it in its respective folder as best you can, right? Or it's gone. Now, usually what I do is I don't delete it straight away, right? I'll have a quick look and I'm like, I have no idea what it's for. If I find a name and I say, hey, listen, I found this file. Is this really where it should be? Or do you still need this or whatever? And they say, oh, sorry, yeah, I still need it. It's like, please, can you move it? And then they'll move it. If they don't reply, I delete it, right? Because as soon as you let too many go through, that's it. And I learned from another, uh, I learned from a, like a server expert designer thing a few years ago. They said that once your data governance is kind of out of control, there's no way to get it in control. It's too late. Your, your thing is just a mess. Okay, so it's a good practice to do it from day one. And on that note, let's end there. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.